Hey drummers, it's me Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com, ready for an absolute classic. This song was suggested over on my Facebook page and if you want to make your own song suggestions then please go over there to do so, you'll find a link beneath this video. The song is The Riverboat Song by Ocean Colour Scene, drummed by Oscar Harrison. So then we got our first bar of groove, and uh, this is a great bar to start with because um, by playing this one bar, you've, you've basically got the basic drum beat, basically basic, basically got the basic drum beat for the entire song. If you can't get through all these different drum fills and variations with the floor toms we'll get onto in a second, then this one drum beat will get you through the majority of the song, apart from the chorus, which we'll get onto later on, which is kind of simple in its own way. But what we got here, Right symbol on all um, six beats, one, two, three, four, five, six. The bass drum is playing relatively simply on the beat one and beat four, and the back beat of each bar is falling on beat five of the, of, of the bar. Really cool idea. So we get, without the ghost notes and drags, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Da, 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 so that's the basic beat. Next we can try and add in the ghost notes, which Oscar does pretty much every time. So <clears throat> we get these ghost notes falling on the and of two and the and of three, basically falling in between the right hand here on the right cymbal. One, two, and three, and four. And make sure those, those snare drum notes are played quietly. You don't want to be playing... Because that doesn't sound like the recording. Oscar's playing it kind of subtly. That accent on beat five is a rim shot, hit on the edge of the snare drum and the center of the snare drum at the same time to make it an accent. But those two notes in between the ride cymbals there on the end of two and three are written in brackets, they're ghost notes. So play them kind of quieter. Not so quiet you can't hear them, but not as loud as the back beat on beat five. So that's the kind of rule here is that you can play those, those snare drum notes in between the ride cymbals, any sort of volume you like, as long as it's not as loud as the back beat on beat five. That wants to stand out on its own. So you want to get this kind of thing without the drag at the end. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, six. Now the last thing that Oscar does is he adds a little drag in at the end of each bar, pretty much every bar, but I said that in the note above, is that we can leave it out or play a single ghost note or as written on the chart, play it as a drag. So it's just falling on the and of six there, we get this as the, the bar loop. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, six. As you speed up, it gets hard to count. It's got to sort of get into muscle memory. And they can add the hi-hat foot in as well. 